Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber, and welcome to another video. This video is gonna probably, I don't know how long it's gonna video gonna be, and hopefully, hopefully it's not too lengthy. But I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you who are, are PC gamers or new PC, PC or just recently got Grand Theft Auto 5 for free on the Epic Game Store really, really wants to mod Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, I do have Grand Theft Auto 5 installed, and it's from the Epic Games. I never bought it on Steam, so I know that I can relate to those who really want to mod Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, there was a new update to Script Hook, and it does support Epic Games, the Epic Games version of Grand Theft Auto 5, and I'm really happy about to hear that. So, I'm going to show you guys on how to install it and how to use it. So, um... So I'm not going to go in-game because it's going to take a few long, but, and I don't have a really dedicated um, video editor on my computer, so we're just going to do all this on one part. So keep up. So if you guys remember, a few a few weeks ago, Grand Theft Auto V Premium Edition was being given for free by the Epic Game Store. Many people got onto the comp on their computers and instantly got access to this, and it caused so much issues with Epic Game Store that it literally made everyone lag out. I can understand that. Um, it can be very frustrating, and it was pretty amazing getting it for free. Now, the most people won't really, really want to Grand Theft Auto V is to be able to mod it, have fun, and being able to do cool things they couldn't do on the console versions of Grand Theft Auto V. And this video is pretty much the same. I can relate to them because I do have the Epic Games version of Grand Theft Auto V. I've never owned it on PC, so when they got it for free, I immediately hopped on the Grand Theft Auto train, and I immediately got it on for free on the Epic Game Store. I owned it on console, but it was like, eh, I was probably bored of it. So I'm going to show you guys on how to install mods and how to install Script Hook V for Grand Theft Auto V on your PC. This is pretty much easy, and I would highly recommend you never to skip any parts, portions of this video after this point, simply because if you mess up, then you're going to get confused, and you're going to be upset that why it's not working. So I'm going to show you all controls, as I said, and I'm not going to go into game because, as I said, the game will take you long. I don't have a really dedicated video editor on my computer and if I do I would have to retransfer to my phone it would just to be too much work for me I don't really want to do that when I work right now um, but yeah so the first thing you need to do is to first install Grand Theft Auto 5 make sure it's fully installed you don't have to launch it I have not I haven't launched it um, I have launched make sure you launch it and then exit out of it so you don't have to it can create all the files for you um, and there you go. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to head over to dev.c.com slash gtav. I have it right here. And you'll see a bunch of a bunch of links that you can pretty much um, utilize. Now, if you get, what you'll need to do is, is click on the first top link. It will script, script um, hook V. Um, you will need to scroll down, and it will give you some instructions um, based on what you need to do. So, uh, and I know this is this is for Steam version. So, in the Epic game version, it's a little bit different. They actually released a new update recently, just not too long ago, and it actually supports um, the Epic Games version of Grand Theft Auto V. So, what you need to do is once you download it, you'll need to extract the zip. Into a, it's going to open to a separate folder, as you can see here, and you're going to see three different files. You're going to see the, the link shortcut, the readme text document, and the bin file folder. Now, you can read this readme, which will just tell you just to remove everything or what you saw on the website. So, it's really no point of reading this, but it does give you some ideas. Um, so, what you need to do is, in this bin folder, you'll see three files. These are scripthookv.dll native trainer dot asi and then then put eight dot dll these three files is a very important this is the mods that you're going to be putting into Grand Theft Auto 5 so what you need to do is try to make this into a small window because you're going to make it a new window and i'm going to show you guys what i mean so we're going to head over to our local disk and you're going to see a bunch of files you'll need to head over to program files because that's where the game of Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be in and you need to go into the folder named Epic Games. You see the folder named GTAV, and you'll see all the folders involved with Grand Theft Auto V. As you can see here, I already have it installed. Um, but in order to get this working, all you need to do is just make this window smaller, 
hover over the uh, the files. Cover, like you know, it's like, if you're gonna, it's like if you're gonna copy and paste it, and then move on over to the folder that has Grand Theft Auto Five. Now, since I already did it, I don't really need to do it, but it does definitely work. And if you guys have any questions, I am pretty well um, sure that I can do it. I wish I had my video. I wish I could do video edit this, but I can't. But I will show you the controls, and I will put it into a desk document. That uh, I won't have a desk document to download, but you can see in there directly in the video. So, uh, what did I just put? Okay, next. I don't know why I did that. Uh, uh, new text document. Okay, we're gonna go into the text document and we're gonna open this in full screen. So the controls are very confusing because when I first tried it, I was very confused of how the controls. I was pressing every single button. Hopefully to We'll figure out how this works. So, if you want to go at F4 opens what this the button the button F4 opens the mod menu. Basically, if you ever worked with a mod menu before, it's similar where you have to nine for press a certain button on console to open the mod menu and then to do whatever you want to do on PC it's F4 and for for directional buttons eight four six and two are your directional buttons these are directional buttons that you need to focus on. And if you have a keyboard that does have a keypad, make sure number num lock is number lock is enabled and then use your keypad so on your on your keyboard. This way because it won't work on the original buttons unless your keyboard does not support uh, a keypad, then you won't have to worry about it. So A46 is is your is so eight is up, four is left, six is right. And two is down, so keep that in mind. Um, for enter button, for making a selection, I don't know what. what did I put that? So enter the enter to enter a such as if you're trying to make a selection, enter is five. So you want to make sure that five is the correct number because as you see enter as you see uh, in the directional buttons five was never inside of it but you wonder where does five go go five is your enter button so whenever you make a selection and you need to make a selection five is your enter button to back out to back out or go back it is your back space button this is like you just call your delete button but if you want to go for your backspace button there is a delete button on most on most keyboards but you want to go for the backspace button and that's pretty much it if you want to also I'll close the map menu um you can use the backspace button or use f4 to turn it off just keep in mind that you will still be able to move around your character even with this menu open, so it shouldn't involve, it shouldn't alter anything. I think that there are, we can add more mods to this to script code V. That I, I'm still going to figure out, but I, once I do, I will make an upcoming video talking about how to add more additional mods to the current mods that you have, and I think that's pretty cool because not only that, you don't have to have it similar to like. San Andreas, whenever you enter a cheat, no matter what you do, it's not temporary. Grand Theft Auto 5, they kind of change up cheats a little bit, so if you want to be Cop God mode, you're not going to have it in a, as a permanent mode. You're going to have it as a time mode. And I understand that time is everything, and I know you don't want to be God mode all the time. It's kind of gets boring. But for those who love to not die but cause a little havoc, you know, then the mod menu will help for you. I hope this video was very informative, and I really hope that this video actually helped you because to be honest it, it took me a bit to figure out the controls it took me a bit how to install it it took me how to work getting it working and actually it actually works pretty fine um 
So if you want to want to do this, it's up to you. I would highly recommend you do not go on online and use this online. You will get banned. Rockstar does care about PC players and p console players. So just do not, just don't, just don't, just don't use them online to prevent you from being banned. But either way, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this helped you. Leave a like if it did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.